Milwaukee's election director says he's very concerned about two issues regarding the Postal Service's handling of absentee ballots. He says some were never sent out and others didn't receive a postmark date, meaning election officials can't prove they were mailed in on time. I mean, I feel disregarded. Milwaukee resident Stephanie DeCubelis says she didn't vote in the spring election, but it wasn't due to a lack of effort. We actually had an absentee ballot come for somebody who used to live in our apartment, um, who we contacted, and they were able to get theirs. Um, but yeah, we requested ours three weeks prior, never got them. Without an absentee ballot, DeCubelis and her partner went to Riverside High School Tuesday to vote in person, but they didn't want to wait for hours in long lines. We just felt that the risk factor was a little too high, so we actually did end up leaving. Today, Milwaukee Election Commission Executive Director Neil Albrecht says he's filing a request for an investigation by the U.S. Postal Service to find out why absentee ballots issued on March 22nd and 23rd didn't make it to voters. On top of that, he says some absentee absentee ballots they received today didn't have a postmark date. Can you expand on why some ballots don't have postmarks? I can't. Uh, I think it's one of the questions that the state is going to be exploring. Albrecht says absentee ballots were reissued to voters who called to complain. The Wisconsin Elections Commission said it's also aware of post office issues with absentee ballots in Fox Point, Appleton, Oshkosh, and Dane County. If a ballot is received without a postmark, or let's say it was hand delivered, um, then it had to have been received by 8 p.m. on election day. Back in downtown Milwaukee, election workers are still getting absentee ballots in the mail and they started tabulating them yesterday. Thousands are expected to arrive before the end of the week. The Milwaukee Election Commission has already received more than 56,000 absentee ballots, and they know more than 18,000 people voted in person yesterday. Statewide results won't be made available until Monday afternoon. Reporting in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.